right, guys, we're back with video number two for the slab reveal. We're going to get right into it. <clears throat> we're going to hit up this whole row right here of slabs. So let's see what we can get here. Looking at this, looking like a pretty clean card overall. Maybe a little bit there on the bottom there, but this might be a modern card. So we'll see if it's not, if it's a vintage, it's going to be very good condition. Oh, so we've had a couple of dark Charizards in the last video. That's the first edition right there. This is the first edition team rocket dark Charizard. It's got the hollow. Looks pretty clean overall. Though. Looks clean overall. I think that the center guy. and the top and the bottom are a little off, unfortunately. Look at the, yeah, look at that bottom compared to that top. It's definitely off on the centering, but I'm guessing this is probably going to be about an 8. Boom, 8.5. Nice. So the other ones in the other video, I think, what do we have? Like fives? Yeah, I think six and a half or two. So, um, yeah, six and a half. So this is definitely the best one we've seen, and that's... Yeah, that's a pretty clean card. That's a pretty clean card. I think there's extra swole in it too, but to have it in first edition, I mean, it's just a unique overall card because what, that was the second series and the Pokemon to come out. It was uh, the base set and then they came out with Team Rocket. So it's a very unique set. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, swirl right there. Yeah, right at the top. Nice, looking good. Great card. Okay, for those who didn't watch the first video, we're doing the slab reveal here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm Trainer Dad from the Trainer Pack, but I've got uh, a friend with me, uh, Travis. This is his actual lot. Uh, we had uh, just over 50 cards, the first video. I think we did uh, uh, half of that, and we're going to do this other half here. So, seeing what we can do, we're kind of having some fun, just looking to see how close we can get on, on guessing some of these and just talking about Pokemon cards. So, I'm not real familiar with some of the vintage, but... Uh, uh, Travis seems to be pretty educated in it, so he's helping me out a little bit. And maybe you guys can learn some things too as we go along here. So, but looking at this one, looks pretty clean overall. I think there's some edging right up there, uh, and in the corner there. But yeah, and you can see some at the bottoms here as well. Uh, but so it's going to be a vintage, but still, I mean, that's pretty pretty good. So vintage Venusaur. Here we go, base set. They said unlimited. Unlimited. So, you know, for vintage cars, you expect to have some sort of wear and tear on them because they've been around for so long. But this is pretty clean for a vintage card. And it looks like the hollow's doing nice, but one of the things that usually affects the grading on the vintage is the scratches on the hollows. And I think it's a little bit over here. So let's see what we can get here. I want to say, I want to give this an eight. I want, that's what I want, but it's probably going to be about a seven. Oh, 6.5. Okay. So, but not bad. I mean, most vintage cards, I'm thinking you usually about to see a 6 or 7, right around that range. Uh, if you start to get in the 8s, I, I typically think, in my opinion, that that's a pretty clean card for a vintage. You get 8 and above. So Yeah, you can pick these cards up. These uh, base set on limited. It's about 40, 50 bucks. Um, you can find them on most selling websites. And it's just a cool card to have in a collection overall, you know. One of the you, big three. The big three. Always nice to have the big three. So, got the Pocket Monsters back in here. So, this is going to be Japanese. Uh, probably, obviously, vintage here. But that looks pretty clean on the edges. Looking pretty good here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. A light uh, Arcanine. The Arcanine here is... Look at this guy. What is, we got some flowers here? Yeah, it's a pretty unique card. What is going on? Got the hollow hidden. Looks really good. This is a cool card right here. Let's keep let's see what we got. Ooh, a nine. Whoa. Whoa. You can keep that card right now if you can tell me the attack for fifty. <laughs> well, I have been learning Japanese and uh <laughs> yeah. No, I wish. That looks really cool. I like the addition of the, the flowers in the back there. Oh, yeah. yeah, and you can really see that hollow hit right there. So good stuff. All right, looks like we got another Japanese, another vintage here. Uh, looks pretty good overall on the edges here so far. Got a little bit right here. Uh, looking, looking not bad. 
you know what I always like? What I always like, and I don't know why, it's nostalgia, I guess, but anytime I see this 1996 Nintendo, oh, yeah. it just brings me back to childhood because so I you was... were, what, 25, 30? <laughs> I am 40 right now, so 96. Uh, I was in high school, but. <laughs> Another Blaine's Charizard. I just missed out on Pokemon. I really didn't do Pokemon when I was a kid. And it wasn't until I started having my own kids that I got into Pokemon. So I just started doing this uh, just uh, just over a year ago. Um, but yeah, so now and here we are. YouTube famous. All 350 subscribers. <laughs> he definitely appreciates every one of you guys, though. Like yes. and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. We got the Blaine's Charizard. Challenge from the Darkness. 7.5, 7.5, wow, okay. still very clean, very good grade for a vintage card, you can't go wrong with the Charizard, look at this, man. It's so cool to see, yeah, like, the actual, like, hollow and the yeah. image itself are the same as the English, but the, the card in itself is completely different. All right, so, get some of this dust off of it, so this is looking pretty good so far, um... Looking at these, yeah, this is probably going to be a, maybe a vintage card. And you see the corner right here has just a little bit of a scuff here. This is looking pretty good, though. This is looking really good on the back. Oh, my goodness. Hair across. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. Neo Genesis. That's another really good series. They have some really cool cards in there. So the centering from the bottom to the top it seems to be a little, little off. But my goodness, this looks like a pretty clean card here. I don't see a lot of scratching on the hollow. That man, the hollow just pops. Let's see what we got. Eight? Eight. There we go. If you look real close, I believe that's a pincer right here. That he's yeah, that makes that makes sense. I was wondering what that would be, but yeah, that makes sense, pincer. Very cool, very cool. Nice card. Alright. So I can no longer go based off the condition of the back here, whether or not it's going to be a, a new era, like a modern card, or if it's going to be a vintage card, because <clears throat> those vintages on the back are looking pretty clean, so it's making it hard for me to decipher. So this right here is dust. So this back, this back here looks pretty good. Centering looks decent here. It looks good. What do we got? Ooh, the Tyranitar... Fades Collide pre-release, Black Star promo. So I don't think this is like <clears throat> such a rare card in itself, but definitely cool overall. So something, and uh, so I, I don't know a whole lot on this one, so um, you guys in YouTube world, don't be too hard on me. But when you see the label right here, like the Fates Collide, the XY Fates Collide, uh, I, like they still do these for like the pre-release cards. Um, well, not release but like the the build and battle cards mm -hmm. you get the build and battle sets they have like the specific cards that are hollows that they are that that carry this like it'll say like fusion strike or it'll say brilliant stars or something on there uh, chilling rain and usually those cards with this on here usually fetch a, a decent amount more than just the regular hollows will so if you guys are collectors and you didn't know that look at those you find those cards this might be worth a little bit more to you than just the regular hollows are so let's see what this is um i'm guessing an 8.5 hoo! let's go i guys so uh, as i said in the first video i have not seen any of these cards uh so i don't know any of the grades so you guys get to see them at the same time i do so i'm just getting lucky on some of these uh some of these grades but that looks good tranitar cool pokemon they always have some pretty decent art for him. So another good one here. Back looks solid. Looks very good. This has got to be a modern card. Modern era. It looks very, very clean. Oh, 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 oh. Is this the one that Aubrey nope. pulled? Nope. So Mu V, Alt Art. Luger and I pulled that out of a, a Walgreens pack. A Walgreens pack. There you go, guys. Go to Walgreens. Get yourself oh, yeah. some packs. You can pull an epic card like this. So we got Smeargle right here chilling in the back. Uh, is this... Uh, what is that? Um, who do I want to say? I want to say Vigavolt, but I don't think that's who that is. Yeah, I'm, 
out of touch with the new stuff. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard for me to say. But and then got right there, this little guy. Very cool, very cool. And look at how cute this this Mew is. Pretty pretty cute. I don't know. I, that's why I like Mew. Because Aubrey, trainer Aubrey, she's always big into Mew because of how cute Mew looks. So here we go. Uh, let's go 9.5. Ooh, 8.5. Man. A little rough for uh, a newer card. Ooh, yeah. Huh. But it is a Walgreens card, so I guess I can't well, get it up too bad. And looking at the centering at the bottom here. Yeah, it's a little thicker. Yeah. Maybe that's what it, that didn't help, but... Yeah, I don't know. Well, cool it's still a very cool card, man. It's still. Okay, get some of the. Oh, that's not dust. So already get some whiteness there in the middle. Let's see what this is. Buy vintage. Oh, it's not Umbreon V Max. This is the trainer gallery from Brilliant Stars. Very cool card. Eight point five. Not bad at all. It's a very popular card as well. Those Umbreons, I'm beginning to see like Umbreons, very popular in the Pokemon world. Uh, the, most of their cards, most of the Umbreon cards go uh, go pretty fast and they go, they can be pretty expensive. So worth worth a good amount. So uh, let's see, on this one we got some white on the edging right here, white over here. So a little bit, nothing too crazy, what you would expect, you know, coming out of binders probably, and top loaders, so on and so forth. Probably a vintage card on this one, though. <laughs> Another dark Charizard. What are we doing here? What a collection. Holy cow, what a collection. So this is Team Rocket Charizard again. The hollow on this still hitting. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what we got. What is this, the fifth one? Fourth one? Uh, probably the fifth, I think. Holy cow. 7.5. So that's one of the higher ones. It's getting better. So that's pretty good right there. Can't be mad with that. The nail flick. That's the ability. What in the world? Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Right here. Got a lot of dust here. Cards looking pretty good. Oh, there we go. I think the so we saw one of these on the first video. First edition non hollow. The first video was Japanese, I believe, wasn't it? The, uh, this so. one was Japanese and it was a hollow. This one is English non hollow. Uh, the fossil set. First edition of the fossil. So, again, for some of you who don't know, um, if some of you are newer Pokemon um, collectors like I am, it took me a while to understand this, but. You can know, I mean, obviously up here you can see the title, Fossil, First Edition, so on and so forth. But if you just have the card and you need to kind of know, like, oh, is this card, like, what's going on with this? Uh, the, the vintage cards, like some of the original cards, had the red uh, HP up here. So when you see that, you know that that was one of the, uh, the, the, one of the first sets that, were, that was put out. Uh, also, too, you always look here, too. It says First Edition right there. So... Let you it gives you a good idea of his first edition. Um, if it's not there, obviously it's not first edition. But and then looking here too, you can see they usually have some sort of icon here that will give you an idea of what set it came from. Uh, so the vintage sets have these up here, and when you see the bones, I just know because I've seen enough cards to know that that's a fossil set, and because it looks like a bone claw or something right there. So as you get into the newer cards. Um, let's take a, so let's, uh, we'll compare in a second, but okay, 8.5 for this. If you look at the newer cards, you can tell the set by looking here at the bottom. They always have a symbol for which set it is. I know this symbol to be Brilliant Stars because I've opened up about a million of these and then it gives you the, the, uh, the name and st or the, uh, the numbers and stuff right there. The vintage cards, obviously they didn't have that at the bottom instead you know they still have the card number but they they put that up there so so obviously the big four you kind of kind of look for are obviously you have the fossil symbol right there um obviously in your base set you're not going to have much of anything um so you have fossil uh you'll have jungle which is kind of like a leaf i don't think we pulled yeah. any uh, leaf unfortunately um but you also have so it's fossil jungle base set 
And then you come back, you'll have Team Rocket. So obviously the R for Team Rocket. That'll be the right Team Rocket there. set. Um, I think I'll backtrack a little bit. Um, it goes base set. Um, I don't know, know the exact order, but Jungle and Fossil would be the next sets. And then Team Rocket obviously follows that. But those are your top four, I think, probably biggest vintage sets that come out. Um, and then they start getting into like the other cooler sets. But So it just gives you an idea. I had to like learn that stuff myself, teach myself that kind of stuff, looking at cards, trying to figure stuff out, and going to YouTube. So I know most of you, if you've made it to this point, you're not really trying to learn about the cards necessarily. And I could be saying some wrong stuff. I'm pretty stupid when it comes to some of these things. So uh, if I'm way off base, you guys comment down below. Let me know, hey, you're wrong. You're an idiot. You don't know what's going on with Pokemon, which I would probably agree with you on. All right, I've got a Hound Doom here from Neo Discovery. Looking pretty clean on the front. I believe that's the first edition. It's hard to see. Um, yeah, Neo first Discovery edition right there. Like the black, um, black inserts yeah. and um, definitely cool car all the way around. I, I definitely like Neo Discovery and Neo Destiny. The Hound Dooms are really cool. Um, still kind of searching for that. Obviously, at the Hound Doors, um, but definitely cool cars all the way around. Got an eight on that one. Very cool. Hound Doom is one of those like, um, like uh, uh, small. There's like a small following for Hound Doom. Like the guys right. who kind of like the dark Pokemon and stuff. Like Hound Doom is one of those uh, Pokemon that people people like. Let's see. This looks pretty clean right here. I'm guessing this is going to be a modern. This has got to be modern. This looks so clean back here. So let's see what we got. Oh, the Charizard V from Brilliant Stars, the full art. <clears throat> this is the other Charizard that I've yet to pull from Brilliant Stars. I can almost got the whole set complete, but I can't seem to find these three Charizards. The, the full art, the alt art, and the rainbow. You guys can see right now, he's probably crying a little bit. <sighs> a little bit inside right. of me just is dying because I haven't been able to get these cards yet. All right. Um, again, I want to give this, I want it, I want it to be a 10. It's probably going to be a 9.5, but I want it to be a 10. Oh, it's an eight. Tough grading. Dude, what happened? Probably off center if I had to guess. I mean, most of the new, yeah. newer cards I've pulled, <clears throat> they're definitely pack fresh. If you look sleeve. at this, maybe the border there. Yeah. Yeah. The top part is pretty thick. You can tell it bottom. looks like it's kind of angled, like crooked, but yeah. All right. Well, still, Charizard at eight. Ooh, what's, go what's going on here? This card needs no so, introduction. Needs no introduction. You guys, if you've if you've done been around Pokemon long enough, you know what this the, this card is. So we got the Tops Charizard, Tops Chrome Charizard. So uh, these are very cool. I've got um, I've got back here like a little Pidgey right here and a seven this is from pure graded x which we'll get into that you guys are going to see some slab openings from them very soon um this is these cards are very popular people like them all i can do is get this like pidgey that's not very good uh because this card here will catch you a pretty penny uh if it's in good condition let's take a look Ooh, an eight on the charizard tops chrome wow I think I'm just gonna keep this card here, Travis. I'll just you gotta, keep the you just, you just, even trade. Yeah, we'll just even trade. You keep the Pidgey, I get the Charizard. That's even. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you have any idea how much this is worth? Um, so I remember I think I paid probably around 90 bucks for it. Um, being at an eight, I don't think I really gained too much value on it. Um, I know if it's like a nine or a 10, you're probably looking somewhere in the ballpark. I could be wrong, but I've seen some go for 150 to $200. Um, but being an eight, I don't think I gained too much um, on the actual money I yeah. spent. But definitely a cool card just to keep and have overall. As we're going to be moving pretty fast in here because this video is getting kind of long. So I'm going straight to the Dark Dragonite. Got the swirl hitting right here in the middle. Like really hitting hard on that. This is a very cool card. I've never seen this card. Team Rocket, first edition. That swirl. That's, that swirl is, is hitting. Uh, very, very cool. Very nice card. Dark Dragonite. Whew, man. 
All right, going into this here, Got a lot of dust here, so the back looks pretty good. A little bit of edging on the bottom there. See what we got here. A hound door. Again, we had one of these in the first video. Let's see what this one gets. This one was the other one hollow. Yep, yeah, so this would be the non hollow. Non hollow. First edition. First edition. I thought it'd be cool. Neo to have Discovery 8.5. Very nice, very nice. Card is hitting here. So we got another vintage Japanese. Again, we've got the pocket monster background, so we know that that's going to be the Japanese. I had to guess that's why I said Charizard. You think so? I mean, we've had a lot. Of we've had a lot of Charizards. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is an Espeon. Dark Espeon. Dark Espeon. This is a Hollow as well, hitting pretty nice here. I'm guessing this is probably about an eight. No, let's go seven and a half. Boom, seven and a half. What? Very nice. Oh my goodness, this S Beyond's hit. And is that a little swirl over here? Yeah, it's yeah a little bit, a little bit. S Beyond. Let's go. Okay, Got a little bit of edging here. Nothing too crazy. The Venusaur Hollow. Black Star Promo. See what we can get here. Man, that seems like a, okay. There we go. Seven, nice. That hollow still hitting, hitting pretty good there. Not too many scratches. Cool card to have for sure. Very cool. But part of the big three, like you were saying before, always nice to have. It's always nice, no matter what collection. If you have a Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur, you know you have something there at least. Dark Charizard again. Ooh. Team Rocket. This one had some edging on the back as well. Um, let's see. I think the best we had on this was an 8.5 or an 8? Uh, 8.5. Yeah, 8.5. So let's see. I, I think this is going to be 6.5. Oh, a 5. Okay. A little lower end. Yeah, I must have missed the, top the edging and stuff. A, yeah, yeah, edging. that's pretty bad. I didn't see that to begin with. But still, Dark Charizards, man. Hey, if you guys are looking, hit us up. Hit got us up. We got some dark Charizards. <laughs> All right, and there's another vintage Japanese. Another Charizard. Another Blaine's Charizard. Very cool. Blaine's Charizard, 1999 Japanese. Here we go. Jim Heroes collection. Jim Heroes, seven and a half. Very cool. Another hollow, still hitting. Sheesh. <clears throat> Okay, this is looking pretty clean. I'm thinking this is probably going to be a modern card. We'll see what we get into here. Yes, it is, guys. I didn't even know you had this card. Pretty what? Sweet. Champion's Path, Charizard V. This is one of the most iconic cards I think that's out there. Like, there's man, like this card. What is this card usually? Um, I think like if you run in the PSA 10 or PSA 9. Um... Or graded eight or nine or ten, uh, probably about two or three hundred dollars um, on the high end, um, maybe like one fifty. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be worth more than that, but I could. Uh, you know that stuff probably better than I do. But let's see what we got. We got a nine or a ten here. You guys think? Oh, we got an eight, dude. Just having this card, no matter what the grade is. Like I said, this is a pretty iconic card. A lot of people have seen this. This is very popular, especially when you're talking about the, the modern sets and Champion's Path. This is this is what you wanted at a Champion's Path. This is what everybody was looking for. So and then they do have the black Charizard the chase. as well. That one's cool. So here we go. Looking like probably another modern card because this looks pretty clean back here. A little bit of edging, not a whole lot. Oh, another dark Charizard. Well, I think the only difference we can note here. Oh my is, goodness! It's not, a hollow. it's not a hollow this time. Very basic. See what we got. I'm guessing. Um, since it's not a hollow, it's probably going to be like an eight. Oh yes, it is. There we go. My goodness. Jeez, got like fifty some cards that we we got here, and I think like. 25 of them, half of them are Dark Charizards. <laughs> Here, we're going to go big. we got to go big. 
you can't, hey, if you find a card you like, why not go for it, you know? This is, clean off some of the dust here. This is looking pretty clean on the back so far. Not bad. What do we got? Oh, talking about the big three. Got the Blastoise base set two right here. Again, you see the base set two right there. Hollow. So just a note, obviously, as most people know, so um, base set, base set unlimited, and base set two, um, that's in the exact order. So base set, you're probably going to see more of the Shadowless. Um, first edition base set, you'll see Shadowless. Base set unlimited is the Shadow, so on the right side. So for those of you who don't know, we'll look at these two cards right here. On this frame right here, you can see a shadow off the frame right here when he says shadowless off the frame on this one there is no shadow it's just that frame so that would be the actual base set the magnemite um you'll see that either in first edition or just base set um base set shadowless uh base set two and base set unlimited will have the shadow um but just something unique and if you tape. if you have a shadowless card those are typically pretty rare and um, you can you know, probably get a little bit more out of them than than regular shadow cards. So even the comments like that, even the like comments, you, might, you can get it graded and probably get thirty to fifty bucks off of it. Um, obviously, like Charmander, I've seen those go for eighty to a hundred dollars, um, and those are common cards, obviously. So any shadows you have, definitely try to keep them as well preserved as you possibly can. And um, if you can, you can afford it, then definitely get them graded. Ultra Ball Gold from brilliant stars centering looked to be a little bit off on the back already so we'll see how this goes i'm guessing this is probably about a eight and a half or nine nine right there i think uh i think you're always i think every collection has to have an ultra ball oh, sure. in it <laughs> yeah nice card okay we're down to this our last three this video is going on. I usually try to keep these videos between like 10 to 20 minutes, and we're going into the 27th minute here. So let's see. We'll get through it here. This is going to be another vintage Japanese. Looking a little rough on the edging. It's all right, though. Let's see what we get here. Boom. A char. Look at this, guys. That's the CD promo. CD promo Charizard. Got the hollow hidden. This thing almost looks like it's glowing in the dark. Almost like that. That just pops. So those of you familiar with like the actual Game Boy games, the CD promos, you'll have a Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. Those are on the cover of the actual games. So cool card to have if you have all three. Definitely probably around the three to six hundred dollar mark, depending on condition. Um, but definitely cool card to have in a collection. Very cool. Coming in on a six on that one. That's nice. All right. So last two here. This is Dusty. Back is looking clean. Got a little bit up here on the corner. Oh, got some edging over here too. Probably gonna be another vintage card. 50-50 Let me Charizard. guess, Dark Charizard. Ooh. No, it's not. We got the Mewtwo. We talk about another iconic card. This is uh, this is something you see a lot in, in a lot of the Pokemon circles. You see the you know this uh, this Mewtwo. Uh, this is the base set two one. They have it also in the evolutions. Um, but this is, you know, a very popular card. Mewtwo is always, always popular. Um, this is the Hollow, and you can see a little bit there. I'm guessing this is probably going to be about a six. Oh, six. Let's go, guys. I'm getting pretty good at this guessing. I think we need to make a contest or something out of this. <laughs> Looking nice. All right, last card. Let's see what we're going to finish off on here. We got this here. The edging is definitely rough sauce over here. Got a little bit here at the bottom too. So let's see what we can, what we pulled. Probably gonna be a vintage. Yep, Espeon. This is the non-hollow though. Neo Destiny. Neo Destiny. This card looks very sick though. I mean, Espeon is. Looks majestic in every card. Mm -hmm. Every card just looks majestic. Let's see what we can get here. I'm guessing probably a six. There we go. Let's go. Way to, Way to go, man. I guessed the last two cards. So, okay, guys. Well, there you go. Um, 
that's all of uh, like fifth i think two videos we did 50 just over 50 cgc cards we got uh, some more cgc cards i think that are still uh, out being graded so they're going to be coming back soon and i got a lot of the pure graded x that we that that we've sent out that tr the trainer pack myself that we've sent out pure graded x i've been working with them a little bit and they've got some pretty cool labels so uh, we're going to do an unboxing of them coming up very very soon um, so check us out on that as well and uh, Travis is going to be back he definitely uh, appreciate you guys tuning in to see all the, the cards it's cool to work with the trainer pack and uh, Pure Graded X I also set a, sent in a submission so excited to get those cards back and um, hopefully we can collab more and bring more content to you guys we're going to have more of more stuff like this look at this stack guys and that's just half. That's just half. Little, oh, yeah. little advertising there. Yeah, in there case we you guys go. Don't know where to look for uh, the <laughs> trainer pack. Don't forget to look us up. We're on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, of course, uh, TCG Player. Uh, you guys check out that site. Uh, we sell a lot of singles on there. Um, you know that most of our videos are made, or I mark them for uh, made for kids, so you usually can't comment on them. These videos where the kids aren't going to be in them, I'll make sure to open those up for comments. You guys make sure you like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you're thinking. Um, I do the other videos, uh, no comments because the kids are in there and I don't want to deal with the YouTube trolls. But um, got a good community, good good group of followers, so check us out some more. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some more of these slab reveals. Let us know if you like it. Let us know how we can do better. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. And... As always, you've been trained by the Trainer Pack. Peace.